Everybody in the civil service make some noise. All the civil servants, if you're coming to the party later, it's a lockdown special. Two arenas of sound. We've got techno at number 11. At number 13, a chill out and slow chill trip garage room. And at number 10, banging hard house all afternoon. All you've got to do is bring a lady and one white wine and we will be going till 6am. That, it turns out, has been the culture at number 10 Downing Street during 2020. Now, I, I've got to be honest, I'm conflicted here. Part of me, little bit proud that we're being reported around the world as absolute Ibiza, get on it. Our prime minister's having it. Lights and lasers, two glow sticks at the front of the garden, doing gack off Pretty Patel's inner flap, whilst Michael McGove looks for a vein on his shaft so he can inject a ketamine heroin speedball. Part of me proud. The other part thinks... Families watched their relatives be buried on iPads, you selfish cunts. So it's a balance, isn't it? It's uh, unbelievable. I mean, I thought we were past the era. Once you get past 21 years old, once you get past 26, once you get past 31 at least, of walking down Zante and being beckoned in, free shot. What the fuck was going on in Downing Street while my mum was sobbing at home because she couldn't get to us, while we couldn't go to a family's relative while someone died alone in hospital? What the fuck was going on? Do you want to come in? Come on, mate, it's number 10. I'll tell you what we'll do, lads. Come on, we'll give you a free snaps. You do that, you stay for five minutes if you like it. It's a free shot at the bar. Prime Minister's there. He's having an absolutely wicked night and you can be part of the party. Zante 2020. What the fuck was going on? An American reporter has approached the British this morning, wanting to run a story about British drinking culture as an island. Even when we were absolutely locked down and a global pandemic as scary as a world war was hitting us, we still found a way to be the only island on earth fucking having it. I mean, maybe it was a posh party. I know, I know it's COVID, Prime Minister, but we are going to have a little gathering in the garden. And we found out that Australian Shiraz actually pairs rather well with bat meat. If you'd rather go for the roasted pangolin, well, in that case, we would recommend the Beaujolais. A uh, pangolin is actually, although a red meat, quite light when roasted. So we recommend the Beaujolais with that, whilst you're enjoying a juice of hypocritical cunt with it. Oh, my God. I think I was probably on my hundredth wank by May 2020 and Boris was out in the garden skewering a bit of cheese with a cocktail stick. 